bustling business district of Sydney with none other than the purveyor of the radar tech detector himself, Clarence. Darwin T. Oh, uh, you're talking about me. I am talking about you, Darwin. I thought for sure you were talking about Clarence. Oh, no, that's me. I would love to say I invented the concept of a radar detector, but I don't know. But that existed long before you wrote a song about it. We did. But They're passe now. Laser jammers are the new thing. Laser jammers? What's that? Yeah, see, cops, they don't stand on the side of the road with radar guns anymore. Now they have lasers. Yeah, crazy. That's that's kind of mental. I've never really heard of that. But, uh, but it's, it's all irrelevant for England because they have speed cameras in England, which is a completely different system. They don't have any personnel side of the road. They have cameras. They clock you in one position, and then they clock you again in another position, and then... If you got there too fast, then they know about it. Well, because you live in England now, is this why the, all the London England references? No, but I've been I've spent a lot of time there this year, touring and stuff. So I've got I've gotten to know the highways of England. What is it about that country or about just Europe in general that you're drawn to, or, or vice versa? That why people like you over there so much? They have the ear for new music, especially new pop music, and. And um, this is the the record I made is exactly the kind of stuff that they like. In what sense? And and just in the sense that it's um, the chords are surprising and the melodies are just surprising enough, and it's um, it's it's fresh and it's up tempo and it's got lyrics that are thoughtful. You I go shopping and fall asleep inside a when you're here in Australia, are you go are you going to trek out to Darwin in the Northern Territory? Next, maybe next time. Uh, not this time around. We wanted to. We we're going to do a show there with the Dandy Warhols, but but it fell through. Damn those Dandy Warhols! Oh, it wasn't their fault. Well, you have to do a big, huge Darwin D's in Darwin extravaganza. I'd love to see that. Yeah, we will. We'll we'll, we'll definitely be back in I think in May and next year yeah. to do cool. shows. Hey, um, Darwin, I'm not sure if you're aware, but recently here in Australia we've had a federal election, which means that we've got a new Prime Minister. It's actually the first Australian uh, female Prime Minister. But um, she was up against some hot competition, and I'm not talking about Tony Abbott, the leader of the opposition. I'm talking about this dude right here. Have you seen this? <laughs> no. He's been up on every street corner. Well, not every. Well, I live in Newtown, so it's, you know, kind of the, the hipster music central. But, uh, yeah, these has been, been up everywhere it's, uh, in the lead up to park life. That's cute. I mean, not the face, the uh, everything else. So you weren't aware of this? No. Is that bizarre for you to realise that like, halfway across the world, people are staring at your face when they're driving their cars to and from work? I like it. Have you ever considered entering politics? No, I'm apolitical. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I wonder what you are. But uh, you are, of course, in town for Park Life, which is apparently the real party. How's it been going so oh, far? Ah, uh, <laughs> party, Park Life. Has it been a party? You were saying off camera before that you bumped into Afi yesterday. How, what's she like? Total party fiend? She's a party animal. She, I was chatting with Uffy in the airport and she was like, you know, she was, she was feeling tired and she was like, yeah, but I'm still going to go out tonight because if you, if you break your stride and going out every night, then you're, you're, you throws you off your game. And I said, that is commitment. It's true, because then you're like, just like, bam, whoa, what's happened? Uh, your videos, I think last time we spoke about Radar Detector, which had been played a fair bit on Australian TV, but you've got a brand new one for Constellations, which I had a look at the other day, and it's it's kind of trippy. I was sitting there, it's, it's a pretty surrealist, pondering, you know, the essence of space and time. When did you shoot that? When did that all kind of happen? We shot it like last month in San Francisco, and... And uh, it was over three days, which is like really long for a music video shoot. And um, it was so fun. And it was, the directors and their team are it's really nice and really creative. And I'm proud. I'm glad we never. I'm glad we never tried to make a video for the song before this one because it would just get in the way. For those who are checking out Park Life, there's still you know a bit of the tour left. Looking forward to it, and uh, thanks for joining us on Music Feeds TV, Darwin D's. Thank you, Clarence.
I'm gonna drink my coffee now. 